Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So I have another um, unboxing for you because a lot of people really like those. And like I said, I really enjoy doing them. They're, they're a lot of fun. I have so many, it's because I took advantage of the Labor Day sales that were going on. So that's why I have a, um, this one. <laughs> I probably have a couple more. They're not here yet. But anyways, a lot of people enjoy them and that's what I do. I just try to bring joy to all those that I can. If I can make somebody smile, then my day's complete. So this unboxing is from AC Moore online because I live, I think the closest AC Moore to me is uh, almost 400 miles away. So I have no way of getting to an, an AC, AC, Moore, AC Moore because I don't travel. If you guys have watched me for a while, I don't travel far from home. I mean, I don't, I never left the state of Illinois. And the furthest I've ever traveled was like two hours and that was to get my bloodhound dog. And that was like, that's the furthest I've ever been away from home. So I don't go very far. But anyway, so this is from online from AC Moore. Um, now I've ordered from AC Moore a few times before. Um, their website's easy to navigate. I do have a few concerns though with AC Moore online. They often have a lot of yarn on there they show it, but then it says in the store purchase only, which is aggravating because I'm like, oh, that, that yarn is awesome. And I go to and I click on it and it's like in store purchase only. And I'm like, ugh. And I understand that, you know, a lot of, like, a lot of companies do that, but I seem to see it a lot more on AC more than other sites. Um, another problem that I have with them is one time I ordered from them when they were having a sale. And um, uh, they had some parfait yarn for like, I don't remember, $4 for a big scheme. And I ordered um, all the colors. Well, when they got here, they had sent me two of the same color. And I was missing one of the colors that I wanted. And I emailed them, I told them about it. And they said um, I, they needed pictures of my whole order. I thought that was kind of strange because I've had yarn companies mess up my order before. And they never needed, needed pictures, but whatever. So I did, I sent them pictures of everything that I got. And then they told me that they could not uh, send me the item that um, I was missing. And um, they couldn't, you know, they couldn't give it to me at the sale price anymore. If I wanted it, I had to pay full price. I'm like, that's baloney. But they did give me the, the refund. But, um... I just kind of wanted it at, at the sale price, but whatever. But anyways, I got over that. So then I ordered from them again. It was for when I had my crochet retreat. They had some yarn on sale, like 80 cents a scheme. So I bought like 100 skeins of that yarn. And when I went outside, it was busted open on my front porch. Yarn, just all colors, just on my front porch. So luckily, you know, it wasn't raining or nothing out there. And I'm like, man, is this the shipper's fault or is this A.C. Moore's fault? Well, I, after further investigation, I realized that A.C. Moore only had one little bitty piece of tape around the whole box. So, you know, um, sometimes shippers, they toss boxes. That's why you got to tape them good. That's just what they do. You know, that that's going to happen. It's not their fault. That's how they load trucks. One tape's not going to hold 100 skeins of yarn. Okay, so that was my only problems that I had with AC Moore. Well, this time I get this box, and guess what? It's busted open, too. It wasn't busted open all over the ground, but it's all opened up. Um, my husband brought it in, and he's like, here's your box, and the top's all opened on it, because it has one little piece of tape on it. <laughs> so, but that's okay. As long as all my yarn, my yarn's in here, I'm good. I'm just sitting here blabbing about it. But otherwise, I don't have a problem with AC Moore. Their shipping is... I don't think it took that long to get here. Like I said, I ordered it over Labor Day weekend, so I think they shipped it Tuesday. Today's Friday. That's fine with me. I mean, that doesn't take long. It is opened up already, but I didn't look in it, all right? Because tape just busted open on it like it did on my other one. So, let's go ahead. All right. Let's go ahead and see what we got. I'm pretty excited about this because they did have some yarn. I'm not extremely familiar with um, the AC Moore's brand Stitch Studio by Nicole. I'm not, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that. I'm sure you have if you live near an AC Moore, but I'm not really familiar with it since I don't live by an AC Moore. 
and AT more just recently started selling out online not too long ago, not you know not too awful long ago so ah uh, so they had a Labor Day sale they had um, a lot of their yarn was on sale plus they had 20% off coupon on everything that was on sale and not on sale so I got a pretty good deal on all the yarn I got so we'll go ahead and go over it now i'm going to show you something that i was told they would never sell online but they do now get these stitch studio by nicole um cotton collars now um like i said i was told by a few people that ac moore said they weren't going to be selling them online and that's kind of bummed out about it you know because they're super pretty and they're just like um hobby yarns uh twisters or twirls or whatever they are they're super super pretty but i was just looking on their site and they had some of the colors not all of them but they had some of them and i was super excited and they had them for five dollars plus they had i got 20 percent off so i got these for four bucks a piece how cool is that now if you're not familiar with these they're it, they are an a um, a number two weight. They make beautiful, beautiful shawls. Too. I have a shawl made out of um, the Hobby brand in this, but it's the same thing. It's a number two, 100% cotton and almost 1,100 yards per cake. It says to wash in cold water and do not dry, which that's understandable, it being cotton. Um, made in Turkey. So... Ain't that pretty? I actually got um, several of these because I want to give them away in giveaways. Because I don't know if this is true either. I just heard this today from some of my yarny friends that they are discontinuing these. I don't know if they're discontinuing these forever. I don't know if they're discontinuing these to get new colors because I don't know that much about AC more. But anyways, I got some anyways. Whether they're discontinuing them or not, that could be a rumor. I have no idea. That's just what I heard through the yarn grapevine. But anyways, I got some because they were I got them for four dollars, and I want to give them a giveaways because they're so pretty and they make such gorgeous shawls. So I got the I think the red one is my favorite. Um, I actually have um, someone so kindly sent me some of these before because um, I wanted them so bad and. AC Moore didn't sell them online at the time, so they sent me some. So I have some here already, but look at that. So I got two of the rest. Remember, those were $4 a piece. Oh, this one's pretty. Ain't that a beauty? Got two of these. I like this one. Oh, I might use this one soon. This one's real pretty. Red and black. This is the color of this one. This one's called purple, red, pink. So I got two of those. I hope my video is not cloudy. It seems cloudy. Here, let me scoot this back a bit. And then I got, let's see. Oh man. Two of these, which are gorgeous. I have a shawl on my channel made out of this exact color right here. And it's this one's uh dark blue light blue purple i guess <laughs> they don't have no special names but isn't that pretty um i got two of these which are very pretty gray white blue i guess i could have guessed that color right off the bat um and then i got let's see here two of these let me guess the color pink purple gray Dark purple, light purple, pink. Oh, I didn't even get that right. Those are really pretty too. And then I got this one is ripped and taped up. That's okay though. Um, blue, green, orange. I won't complain. Four dollars, you can't beat it. And then I got one more color. I believe this is all the colors that they had online available at the time. Maybe, I can't remember, but... This one's black, gray, white. Very pretty. So, four bucks a piece for those. Those, that's a good killer deal. Because if you've ever shopped Hobby and you've seen their twister cakes, those things are super expensive. Like, the cheapest, I, I don't know, maybe 15 bucks, maybe. They normally run like 20-something, so. 
and those are exactly the same. I have a, I have a review where I, uh, um, <clears throat> did the Stitch Studio by Nicole versus the Hobby Kicks. They were, they were pretty much the same, so. All right, let's see what we got next here. They have some Caron Simply Soft. Of course, you know I've had that before on sale that I didn't um, have the colors of here. And they don't have the prices on here for some reason. But I'm thinking I paid $2.50 a piece for these, which is a pretty good price for Caron Simply Soft. I got, so I got some neon pink. I've had this color before a long time ago, but I haven't seen it forever. Isn't that pretty? Evelyn's going to really like something out of that. And that's the Caron Simply Soft. You guys are probably pretty familiar with that. If you live in the States. Uh, let's see. This one's called Berry Blue, which I don't think that I've ever had this one. If you're not familiar with this, if you're not from the U.S. or you don't have access to this, this is a medium 4, 100% acrylic, 315 yards. Um... I don't know where it's made. Made in the U.S. of imported fibers. But I use these a lot when I make Evelyn's clothes and dresses. That's what I use. So this is the berry blue. I like to get colors uh, that I don't have. So, And I got one more of those, I think. And this one's called Cool Green. I don't think I've ever had this or seen this one actually anywhere sometimes i come across colors that you know i've never seen and i just have to have them it's pretty i like it and i got two of those so like i said i believe i got those for 250 a piece which is a good deal for pretty good deal for Caron. simply soft okay let's see what else i got here now i got <laughs> this is a funny story i'll show you tell you about these real quick you guys are probably sick of my stories i'm gonna tell you these tell you about this little story here this is called Stitch Studio by Nicole Earth Tones. Isn't that pretty? And it's pretty soft stuff. Remember, like I said, nothing smells as good as skinny yarn. Brand new skinny yarn. That is pretty. It's a 95 acrylic, 5 viscose, which is the flex in it. Um... 612 yards that's a generous amount medium weight number four machine wash tumble dry made in turkey that's a very nice soft acrylic i like it a lot um and this is the stitch studio earth tones this one's called cream now these were on sale for five dollars so i got 20 percent off i paid four dollars for these and that's 600 and when i say 40 yards 600 oh 612 yards that's good price so i got these because i was gonna make mr bod something out of it special and i think i got four of these colors i thought i did maybe not i don't know three of them no here's one more so i got four of these right here now i i had never had these before it was the first time that i've ever had them but what's so funny is they had um, some colors that I wanted really, really bad, but they were like in-store purchase only, or they were sold out. I can't remember. And I was like, dang, I want them colors so bad. And so I went to the mail today, and my friend, Linda, I'll just say her first name. She is so super generous to me. She has always been, she's been a follower for a long time, and I can't even express how generous and thoughtful she is of a person but look what i got in the mail today you won't believe it. it's just such a coincidence because i got these in the mail today and then i go to my post office box and i got these other colors that i wanted that i couldn't get because they were sold out or they weren't available these are so my colors she sent me two of each of these thank you very much linda it's so appreciated you know me so well i saw this one right here butternut and i'm like i got to have that that is my color is so pretty and this one too exactly the two colors that i went to um this one's called taupe and they both i couldn't get either one of them because i 
they were sold out or not available or something. And I was so stinking mad. So I had to get this white one instead, which I think is really pretty. But I just thought it was such a coincidence that these came today. Um, the two colors that I tried to put in my cart and couldn't. Um, at the same time as these other ones came. So thank you again, Linda. You're so super kind um, doing that. And I just wanted to mention that because it was so coincidental that that happened. Um, the, the day that I got that I was going to do the unboxing, I got the two colors that I couldn't get. And then I, let's see, I got a couple more of those. I got this green one here. It's called Teal. It's very pretty. Isn't that pretty? I love the flex on that. And it is a really nice soft acrylic. It's nice. I like it. I'm going to make, I like tweeds a lot. I do tweeds like that with the flex in them. I was digging through this box of yarn. Oh, I got two of those green ones. And then I got, this one is uh, very pretty too. It's so fall. Auburn, ain't that pretty? Fall, it's just screaming fall time. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh, it's so pretty. I really like this Stitch Studio by Nicole, actually. I might get some more of it. I just might. Um, I guess I only got... No, I got two of those, two. Two of the Auburns. And then I got one more color, but I only got one of it. Because I was going to make Evelyn something out of it, and since it was 600 yards, she don't need much more yarn than that for me to make her a sweater. It's this purple one here. And it's called Purple Heart. That's so pretty. Yeah, I can't get over it for it being 100% acrylic. It feels like it's a really a premium acrylic, even though it doesn't say it. It's super nice. Definitely, definitely not make nice sweaters and scarves and stuff. All right. So, yeah, like I said, those were $4 a piece. I wish they would have told the prices on here. I was <clears throat> looking here and trying to remember what they were. Okay, I know these two also. This is something I've never had before. Um, this is Stitch Studio by Nicole Storybook Fairy Tale. It's not, it's soft, but it's not as soft as that regular as this Stitch Studio Earth Tones color. This one's really squishy soft, but for being an acrylic. No, but it's nice. You can make, you can make something with it. Now, these were $5 too, so I got them for $4 because they were 20% off during our Labor Day sale. Let's see what they are. Now it is the DK, which is a lightweight three. That's what it is here. Um, and it's 765 yards. That is very, very generous. Machine wash, tumble dry, made in China. The color I have here is called Mob Mist. Very, very pretty. Very pretty. So I got, I don't know why, but I got three of them. I don't know with that much yardage why I got three. Maybe I was thinking I was going to make a baby blanket with that. That's probably why I did that. I order yarn sometimes. Since it was Labor Day, they had quite a few sales. So I ordered from quite a few places. And I forget my intentions on, on the yarn and why I purchased it. But I would imagine since it's a lightweight three, I got three of them to be a baby blanket. And I think that would be very pretty. And Evelyn will probably claim it. More than likely. She likes to try to claim all my crochet stuff. Just a second here. I'm going to get the prices for this other stuff. Okay. I'm back here. I'm sorry about that. I, I Usually they have the prices here on the papers. But I just wanted to. Okay. So this is their Studio Classic by Nicole. Very nice soft. Just kind of like their earth tones there. I like it. That's a nice soft acrylic yarn. It's a 100% acrylic, medium, four weight, 260 yards, machine wash, low heat, made in Turkey, or dry on low heat, made in Turkey. Mm-hmm. It's pretty. I'm such a brown person. And a fleck person. I love the tweeds and the flecks. Ain't that pretty? That's so pretty. So that's what that one is. Like I said, the, all this Stitch Studio Nicole stuff is pretty new to me. Um, I ordered from them before, but I mainly just order like Premier and stuff off of them. Never really too many of their name brands, like or too. This is their branded yarn, so I never really try too much about it. So these were what I say, 260 yards of 100%. It's a nice soft acrylic. 
they run um, $2.50 regular, and I got them for 20% off of that, so whatever that was. No, they don't, I'm sorry. They don't run 250 regular. They were on sale for 250 at the time when I got them. And I think they might still be. I don't know. But then I got 20% off of that. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. So I got this one. It's, did I tell you? Brown Speck. I got one, two, three, four, five. And I got one more. So I got six of the Brown Speck color. And then I got this one I thought was really pretty. Same price and everything. You know, I always think it takes a special project for a variegated yarn. I don't know if you're like that, but I have a special project in mind for this one. And this was, equ it's equally as soft. It's a nice soft yarn, way better than Red Heart Super Saver. I like it. It's a 100% acrylic. Even though it's variegated, it still has the same amount of yardage, 260 yards. This one's called Water. That's pretty. Very pretty. I like it. So they were on sale for $2.50 and I got the 20% off. So I got two of those. And then I don't know why this one really got my attention. It's all the same specs on this one. Impressions. It's very pretty. Reminds me of kind of like a watercolor painting or something. I like it. Very pretty. Very pretty. All right. Now I got these big whopping things here. These are, this is the same as these, but it's their jumbo rolls. So they had these on sale. Okay, yes, these were $5 a piece. Um, and then I got them for $4 because they were 20% off at the time. This one's called Cappuccino. Of course, I like the way it's got a start here place. And there are 744 yards of 100% acrylic. Very nice. That's a nice generous amount. Four bucks. You can't beat that. So I got two of those. What will I make? Nobody knows. Not even me. <laughs> it might end up in the giveaway. But... Mrs. Bod can't pass up a good yarn deal. How can I pass that up for four bucks? I can't. I mean, I don't really have too much control. I think I said that before. I have like a lot, total control over every aspect of my life. Self-control, discipline, except for yarn. It's like, if it's cheap, I'm buying it. I don't care if I have a project in mind. I don't care if I have room for it. I'm buying it. I'll buy it just to give it away because it's the thrill of getting it cheap and opening it up that I like. It's fun. And the thrill of giving it away. I really like doing that too. Sorry about that. Okay. Now I want, I see I have a couple. Well, I have a few more. Oh, here's another one of those green ones. The Earth Tones. So I had three of those, I guess. Thought I had two. My box is getting smaller. Okay, and here's some more of the Stitch Studio uh, by Nicole Studio Classic. Now, here's the difference, I guess, between their tweed and their variegated. There is a yardage difference. So these, the tweed and the variegated had um, 260 yards a piece, and these actually have 372. That's a generous amount. Um, they were 250 when I bought them, and I got them for 20% off of that. And again, it's, it is a nice, it's a nice acrylic yarn. So 372 yards, everything else is the same. Medium four weight, machine wash, dry, made in Turkey. This one's called Light Teal. Very pretty. This one is so pretty. Gentle Brown. I got a lot of browns and earthy tones. That's me though. That's how I roll. <laughs> and then I got, well, I got a pretty red. I do like red. And it's called red. Gosh, that's nice stuff, man. I might switch from Red Heart to this stuff. When I buy Red Heart Super Saver, even Red Heart with Love, this is softer than Red Heart with Love. I might make the switch. I just wish I lived near an AC more. One of these days, when I get the courage, I'm going to take a trip there. Probably won't be for a while, but... 
Okay, this is something that, again, I've never had. This is called Stitch Studio by Nicole Sweet Dream. It's very pretty. It's very soft and bulky. It's uh, 86 acrylic, 14 polyester, 245 yards, super bulky 6, machine wash, do not bleach, do not iron, tumble dry, made in Turkey. The color of this one is called strawberry. Oh, that's very soft. It doesn't feel like blanket yarn, and it doesn't feel like parfait yarn or velvet yarn. It just feels like a thick super soft acrylic yarn that's what it feels like it's very pretty i really like it and i think um 280 yards is a very generous amount especially since it's a super bulky six usually yarns that thick don't have that much yardage in them so these were five dollars a piece and I got 20% off of that, so four bucks. And I got two of those. And again, what will I make? I don't know. I always want for Evelyn because she likes pink. I like pink too, though. Pink's pretty. I like that too. I'm not disappointed with anything that I got. My box is about empty. And I haven't been disappointed yet. Okay. Now this is called Stitch Studio by Nicole storybook a lullaby it is silky soft almost identical reminds me of Caron simply soft except for it says it's a lightweight three it appears to be a little thicker of a lightweight three but yes it very much well you know if you're familiar with Caron it's kind of a thin four and this seems like a thick three it's very, very similar to Caron Simply Soft. So that's what that one is. And let's see. Lightweight 3, 100% acrylic, 265 yards. Machine wash on gentle, tumble dry, made in China. Oh, it's pretty. Nice and soft. Yep, yep, yep. Peach Puff. That's the color of this one. I like it. See how much these were real quick okay and these run $3.99 a piece but i did get 20 percent off that's not bad i don't know i like it though it's pretty so that's the peach puff two of those storybook lullaby oh i got three of those there's another one in there so three three of those three of those and then I got, this is Stitch Studio by Nicole Storybook Fanfare. I don't know what that is. It seems to be, looks the same and everything. I think maybe, maybe this is a variegated line of that. I don't know, but everything appears to be the same. 100% acrylic. Let's check out the yardage difference. 265 and they're solid. 255 in this one the price was the same 3.99 and i got 20 percent off of that lightweight three machine wash tumble dry made in china this one's called petite four that's pretty i'm almost done here oh it's got such a shine on it if you guys could see that that is really pretty so i got three of those and i got one more in here this is called Stitch Studio by Nicole Bamboo. And this is some soft yarn. Let me move that box out of here. <laughs> I'm way over here. That is pretty. Okay. And it is 40% rayon from bamboo, 60% acrylic. 196 yards a lightweight three machine wash on cold but lay flat to dry made in turkey oh that's soft stuff i like that it's not really a silky soft it's, but it's soft it's squishy soft squishy does that make sense i like it 
That's nice. This one's called, did I say? Pink Primrose. So I got two of those. I'm going to have to really check out uh, AC more again. I mean, like I said, I ordered from them before, but I only ordered yarns like Premier and stuff that I knew. I never really paid attention to any of these branded yarn their their own brand is stitch studio by nicole and i never really paid much attention to that before people had told me i should try it but i never really got around to it but man they are gorgeous and they are really pretty and i'm super happy with everything that i got despite my box was busted open again i don't even care about it it was all intact it's super cool i'm very happy with it all and like i said it did say I just bought it. I saved a bunch of money because it was Labor Day. They were having a sale, and then they had that 20% off already. They were already having a sale, and then they did the 20% off on top of that for Labor Day. So I got everything for a really good deal, and I'm super, super happy with everything that I got. There's nothing that I'm <clears throat> that I'm uh, that I don't that I don't like. There's nothing that I wouldn't buy again, and I probably won't buy again. And people ask me, you know, what are you gonna do with all that yarn? I don't know. I don't have no plans. You know, sometimes I, like I said, sometimes I buy things and I have plans for it at the time, like Mr. Bought a sweater or a blanket out of this one. Will that happen? I don't know. Uh, experience says no, um, but it might. Um, but more than likely, a lot of it probably end up in a giveaway, but it's just the excitement of unboxing it and I know a lot of people like to watch me unbox it it's the excitement of getting it so cheap and then it's the excitement and the good feeling I get giving it away and that's the best part so thanks everybody for watching I always appreciate I always say it, your loyalty to my channel I hope this unboxing wasn't too uh boring for you I mean it's pretty exciting I like all the yarn I got that's super cool I don't really know where I put it. I'm going to slap it in tote and put it in the other room with what I do with all of it pretty much nowadays. Because I don't have no more room back there. But uh, I'm definitely going to make something out of this yarn that uh, Linda sent me. Because I wanted this color so bad. And she sent me enough, two skeins. And that's enough that, yeah, this is so beautiful. That is so fall. And I definitely think I'm going to be using this color too. The others that, you know, I might go in a giveaway, might not. I might donate locally. I mean, uh, some of it will go in a giveaway. I definitely got these to put in giveaways. Some of it I'll probably donate locally. But all in all, it's going to go somewhere and it's going to get used eventually. Some people have concerns that my yarn won't get used. and Some of it won't because some of it I collect, you know. It's my, it's my retirement. I like to collect discontinued yarns. That's my favorite um, to do that. And I like to collect vintage yarns. I like to try to get all the colors of certain ones. And I don't know. I'm just a yarn collector. Slash hoarder. Whatever. But anyways, thanks everybody for watching. Now I'm just rambling on. I'm, just, I'm smiling at all this yarn. And I'm just thinking about now i got to put it in a tote. And think of what to make with this yellow. This, this one right here is... It's all really pretty. I'm super excited about all of it. You guys can chat me off. I'm just sitting there looking at it and all. Like, it's so beautiful. So, yes, AC Moore, um, thank you. You did a wonderful job. Besides, your packing kind of stinks twice for me now. But other than that, uh, your yarn, your, your own brand of yarn is beautiful. It's gorgeous. I'm very happy with it. Um, your sales are pretty good. You know, I got everything decent priced. You have pretty good sales. And... I do wish you'd build a store, um, like, across the street from me. That would be, be the best, you know, if you're watching. Maybe you can think about that. Um, but other than that, I'm very happy with my Seymour purchase. Um, and remember, they do have these online now. For how long? I don't I don't know. But uh, they have them on there if you guys were wanting to try to get them. So, thanks, everybody, for watching. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.